Punjab Chief Minister Charanjit Singh Chani might be declared the Congress Chief Minister face for the Punjab Assembly polls. As sources say, he is leading in the survey that the party is conducting to choose the Chief Ministerial candidate. That's the breaking at this hour that Chani is leading in that survey. Uh, the party conducting that survey to get a sense of who should be the Chief Ministerial candidate. And uh, of course, Sidhu is sulking on the back of this. So clearly, Chani seems to be the front runner at this point, according to sources. He is leading in the race to be the Chief Ministerial candidate in the state for the party. Manjeet Saikal joining us on this. Manjeet, uh, clearly it looks like uh, consensus is building towards Chani. Tell us what, what the latest is on ground. Well, Congress party is conducting a survey and has given uh, two choices, one uh, Charanjit Singh Channi and other Punjab Congress Committee Chief Mabjot Singh Sidhu. And there is a, also a third choice, asking people whether the party should go without a chief ministerial face. Sources say that Charanjit Singh Channi is leading this survey, but the party has not officially announced it. Uh, he's, uh, the, the face is likely to be announced on 6th of February in Ludhiana, where Rahul Gandhi is expected to address a virtual rally. As far as the popularity graph is concerned, Charanjit Singh Channi has proven himself as an astute politician during the three-month-long tenure of uh, Chief Ministership. Uh, he has established himself as a common man, also uh, took many decisions which were pro-people, he was liked by the people. Not only these decisions try to minimize the anti-incumbency, but also uh, give a flip to his uh, popularity as a chief minister. But as far as Navjot Singh Sidhu is concerned, Sidhu a couple of days back had said in a press conference that the decision of the party high command will be acceptable to all the leaders, whether Charanjit Channi is announced the chief minister face or Navjot Singh Sidhu, they will accept and steer the party uh, to, to the 2022 election victory. All right, Manjit, stay with us. Uh, we've got uh, more news coming in. Arvind Kejriwal taking a dig at the Congress Chief Minister face. That's the next uh, piece of breaking news on your screen coming in. Arvind Kejriwal taking a dig at this entire dilemma, asking why ex-Punjab Congress Chief Sunil Jakar's name is not in the list of options in the Congress Chief Minister survey. Remember, just yesterday, Jakar had said that neither Channi nor Sidhu are popular and the AAP chief seems to be poking fun at the implosion in Congress in Punjab. Manjeet, uh, you know, clearly uh, the AAP chief taking advantage of what seems to be uh, just an increasingly complicated situation. We all know the political context, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, back and forth we've seen over the months now in Punjab. And uh, this, you know, given that, uh, you know, given all of those uh, uh, ingredients, Congress doesn't really seem to be handling the situation very well. Well, uh, former Punjab Congress uh, Committee Chief Sunil Jakhar's uh, statement that he was polled 42 votes uh, when the, the Punjab uh, Home Minister Sukhjinder Singh Randhawa was polled 16 votes, followed by uh, former Chief Minister Captain Amrinder Singh's wife Preenit Kaur, who was polled 12 votes, Navjot Singh Sidhu was polled just 6 votes, and Channi got 2 votes. In fact, he's, he has uh, given enough ammunition to the opposition parties, which have now questioned and has accused the Congress party of being anti-Hindu. The opposition parties are now asking the party President Sonia Gandhi to clarify why the popular face was not elevated as the chief minister. So uh, this is this uh, is being uh, this is being debated hotly not only by the opposition parties but by the Hindu voters as well. Remember last time even the Dalit Hindus, 43% uh, of them had voted for Congress. Election analysts and political uh, experts believe that this time, the Congress party's decision not to elevate a Hindu as the chief minister can go against the party and that will definitely tilt the urban Hindu vote bank. All right, Manji, thanks for bringing us all the latest on that story.